All right, this is a fun and fascinating conversation. Election Day in the U.S. is now just two months away, and Canadians are betting on who will win the presidency. The odds are wavering as this race tightens between former President Donald Trump and current Vice President Kamala Harris. The betting industry is taking advantage of this polarizing moment, but who is the betting favorite? And where do the numbers currently stand? Joining us to discuss the markets for U.S. presidential election is Larry Fisher. He's the head of content for PowerPlay.com. Welcome to your morning. Thanks for having me. It's exciting. I think you need to tell everybody what you just told me, which is I am fascinated that this is something that people are willing to, like, wager money on. But you were saying behind World Cup and what else? This is the third? Super Bowl. Super Bowl is the big one. And then, you know, World Cup, obviously, soccer is, is huge worldwide. And, and U.S. presidential election with the, with Donald Trump in the race again is, is really... Uh, drawn a lot of interest from from people in Canada and abroad. And how much money did it bring in in the last presidential election? Yeah, so Forbes did a big article on it saying that some some sports books were bringing in upwards of five hundred million dollars uh, USD on on the Biden versus Trump in twenty twenty, which was one of the, the bigger events for for sports books. Yeah, I mean we're used to big sporting events, but I love I mean listen, I love politics, so I love that it's got this kind of interest. This election has been one though that's really grasp the attention of people, not just here in North America, but globally. What is the appeal here for Canadians? I think part of it is the, the Trump factor. I think, you know, he is such a controversial figure. And from, from Canadians, you, you can't vote in the election, but you, you can certainly have your say by betting on it. And whether you love him or hate him, you're going to pay attention to him. And I think, uh, you know, obviously there's been some big events leading up to this election, uh, including the, the assassin, assassination attempt, which yeah. actually caused Trump's uh, odds to spike. He was a significant favorite uh, following that. But then obviously when uh, when President Biden declared he wasn't going to seek re-election, the, yeah. the odds sort of came back to close to even. And then when Kamala came into the picture now, uh, as of today, the, the betting odds are, are exactly even. So it's, it's interesting to see where it'll go from here. So they stand even right now between the two of them. That is fascinating. Um, are we seeing more Canadians jump into this betting game on the U.S. election? Definitely. And I think we will over the next two months leading up to November 5th. But uh, as the debates uh, are looming, I think the the fallout from the debates and, and, and the reaction of, of the public and and the media following the debates is going to influence the, the odds going forward as to who emerges as the, the favorite. It's not an indicator we use. And certainly, you know, we lean more on polls than we do on betting stats. But, you know, you and I were just discussing, it's a really good indicator, depending on where people are putting their money, as to sort of where public sentiment lies. To some degree, it is kind of a, an indicator of the popular vote and, and the direction it's going. And like I said, now Kamala seems to have the, the momentum, uh, the fact that, that Trump was a significant favorite after the, the assassination attempt. And, and now leading into the debate, uh, it's back to an even race, uh, according to the, the, the betting odds. But if you look back to uh, 2016, uh, Hillary was actually the betting favorite and, and oh, Trump upset her there. So it's, it is interesting, but there's still a a couple months to go with a, a lot yeah. that can happen between now and, and November 5th. Well, from a money perspective, somebody made a lot of money in 2016, probably. Um, is there any telling at this stage if the betting margins between the former president and the current vice president will continue to tighten as this race goes on? You know, we're looking ahead to September 10th. Next big event is these debates. Yeah, I think, and, and obviously the, the reaction from the debate is going to kind of determine uh, who emerges as the favorite. And, and there'll be other big events or key statements and speeches and stuff between now and November 5th. But uh, I think it is a tight race as, as of today and, and, and probably going to stay that way uh, leading up to November 5th. But it'll be interesting to see where, where Canadians and, and others uh, start to really put their money. Does this surprise you, Larry? I mean, you deal in the world of sports all the time. Did this surprise you that this this match in politics is garnering so much money and attention. It did. I mean, I know people are passionate about politics the same way they are about sports teams. So when I was was you know brought in to work for a sports book, I, I knew I'd be talking about the the Leafs' odds of winning the Stanley Cup, and and now here we are discussing you know Donald Trump's odds of of winning the U.S. election and, and becoming president again. But definitely, it, it was somewhat of a surprise, and, and especially to see how how popular it was in 2020, and the fact that uh, they're predicting or projecting that. Uh, as we get closer to November 5th, this, this election could bring in even, even more uh, revenue for sports books. Just before I let you go, we're talking U.S. election, but we have a Canadian election coming up, you know, right now in the books for 2025. Uh, is there the same interest from Canadians about their own election? It's interesting you ask, because if this is the Super Bowl of, of betting on politics, uh, the, the Grey Cup it will be the Canadian election. And, and certainly mm -hmm. we're going to have odds uh, on uh, coming soon for PowerPlay.com on the, the Canadian election. It'll be interesting to see where that those opening odds are between, uh, uh, obviously, uh, Justin Trudeau and Pierre Polivier. So it's going to be a... Uh, 
an interesting uh, year ahead for Canadian politics and, and the betting side there. But uh, yeah. definitely right now, all eyes are on uh, south of the border in the U.S. election. Listen, maybe we're going to have to bring power play in on our election coverage. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right. Larry Fisher is the head of content for Power Play, and he was our guest this morning. We're going to continue to watch the polls as we head up to Election Day and, of course, the debates on September the 10th. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.